So, Will, why do you why do you do these calls? So, I think it's tempting when a client sends a job spec through just to kind of take everything at face value and to accept everything that's written down on there is a list of requirements that we need to search and find. But when I started working in recruitment, I very quickly realised actually that's not the most effective way of doing it. Um, we need to get in between the lines of what's on a job spec. So we need to talk to a client, hear how they describe their workplace here, like the colloquialisms they use, and kind of really understand beyond tasks someone do every day, what they're looking for. So then we can communicate that to candidates in the most efficient and I suppose prescriptive way to get them as engaged and interested as possible. Hi Scott, how are you doing? Uh I'm Will, this is Adam. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you too, Bird. How's things? things? You all good? Yeah, all good. Read through the job spec, um, which is yeah. great, and it's a really detailed one. Uh, there we go. Let, let's say I'm a really, really strong, you know, production manager, the kind of person you're looking for. Why would I come to kind of yeah. Pard Group as opposed to, say, one of your competitors? Um, I think culture's a big thing. Uh, I've worked with a lot of our competitors, genuinely, so I've worked yeah, we, with um, We hear lots of those answers, and so, so often people can't articulate why. What would really jump out experience-wise yeah. or to make you excited about kind of wanting to meet them? So the CVs that come through, the ones that stand out to me, a skill set, somebody that has worked... And, uh, yeah, we'll send the terms over now and we'll, we'll crack straight on. Yeah, yeah, great. Appreciate it. Sorry, Scott. Take care, mate. Bye-bye. 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 Well, how did that call go? Yeah, it was really good. It's nice to talk to a client who is genuinely passionate about their business. We always ask clients, right, we always say, if I'm a great candidate and I'm stood in front of you and one of your best or one of your best competitors why would i choose you over someone else or That's your a great competitor? question i feel like um scott who we just spoke to like was so infused about what they do and was so descriptive in how he described it it kind of really helps me to buy into it as well he was really engaging it really kind of brought the role to life and the kind of environment this person would be working in. In these conversations are absolutely golden, right? It's so important to take a full job briefing um, off the client to get to kind of understand the different nuances of the business, the nuts and bolts of it, because yeah. then we can bring it to life when we speak to the candidates and really pitch them the role. So I saw you taking notes. Mm. How important do you think notes are? It's really important because you can't just like be on a call and, and take in all the relevant information that that client's giving you. There's going to be different things and different terminologies that they use, which is going to be really important, which we then use in terms of the language when we're speaking to the candidates, then builds that rapport, gets them engaged in the role and, and helps with the process um, holistically.